up, y'all? I wanted to uh, do another quick little tip here. Uh, any of you guys that have some dial calipers, if you've got mics, whatever it may be, um, you can transfer the exact same lesson on to what I'm about to tell you here. Um, as a rule of thumb, what you need to make sure, make certain of, whenever you go and you store your calipers, whenever you're going to put them away in their case, or even if even if they're not going to be in their case, um, but they're going to be set down for all, any period of time, it is <clears throat> the common practice, if you want to keep them precise and everything, you do not close them all the way. See how there's there's no gap there at, I mean, they are completely closed. They're at zero, right? You don't close them all the way. You leave just a little bit of a gap there. Just, I mean, just a little bit. Doesn't have to be much. You just want to make sure that, you know, if you're putting them in a case, that they'll fit in the case. And the reason is, is because if you close them against each other, they can actually cause corrosion and pitting on these jaws. You can have issues with the jaws that way. So when you close them, you know, close them all the way and then back them off. Now, I'll go ahead and for anybody that, that's not familiar with these type of dial calipers or anything on zeroing them, if you want to zero them and let's just say that I pick these up and I go and I know they're at they're closed all the way. Well that's not reading right. Down here is your adjustment. That well that's not your adjustment, it's your lock. And that allows you to turn this to zero it. So make sure you want to make sure that your jaws are clean. I use my finger. You should actually use a oil free towel, but you know, who's counting? There, we know it's tight. Turn your zero to match the dial and tighten up your bezel clamp. Now, that bezel can move just a little bit, the dial can move just a little bit whenever you tighten that, so sometimes it's a good idea to recheck it a couple of times and make sure that you're actually at zero and we're good now we'll back that off if you back it off too far it's not going to fit in back there like I say th this area here is so you can measure your plunge depth from here to there, that's going to give you a reading. You can get an outside diameter reading here of something. You can get an inside diameter reading here of something. And you also have another, it's a commonly overlooked way of measuring. But if you measure from the here to here, that will give you the proper distance on something. Even, you know, most people think that uh, the, these are the only ways to measure, but there's actually a few other ways of measuring with one of these. If anybody has any reservations about how to use this type of dial caliper that's not digital, uh, they don't know how to read it or anything, send me, send me a, a response and I'll do a video on how to read these, how to properly use them. Um, but until then, this will do. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, oh yeah, another thing. I just got my dealer pack for, uh, or my 2013 uh, dealer pack from Hornady. And uh, what they've got right now is they've got you know their get loaded uh, campaign, free bullets with qualifying purchase of Hornady reloading tools. Um, basically, the way this works is you get. 500 free bullets, which I've got to find out from them if they have these in stock 
or not. But if they have them in stock right now, as hard as bullets are to come by, you might, it might be worth it to just buy a damn Hornady setup and then sell your old one or sell this one after you get the bullets. But anyways, if you purchase lock and load ammo plant, AP press, which is their progressive press, the classic lock and load kit, which is a single stage press, um, the precision reloaders kit, the classic kit deluxe, basically any of their kits that include a number of their things. They're more expensive kits. You get 500 free bullets. If you purchase a set of custom grade dies, lock and load powder measure, or their quick trickle, you get 100 free bullets. And uh, so anyways, that's what that's the deal they got going on right now. And uh, I just figured I'd show that to you guys in case anybody's interested. Thanks for watching. If uh, you're interested in anything from Hornady or Lee or anyone, um, send me an email. Um, and I'm sure the email address will be popping up somewhere around here right about now. And uh, drop me an email and uh, tell me what you're looking for and I'll get you a price quote. Thanks a lot.